hey, I'm glad you came back. Let's finish the rest of the story. We are on scene seven. Ichabod leaves the party after midnight. Ghost stories fill his head. He trots along the road on his horse. Suddenly, the night grows darker. Suddenly, something appears in the shadows. Who's there? He sees a large figure sitting on a big black horse. I say, who are you? There is no response. Ichabod kicks his horse and they take off into the night. He looks back. He is terrified by what he sees chasing him. The Headless Horseman. A fiery jack o' lantern hangs at the rider's side. That's his head! Ichabod's horse races towards the bridge. They are nearly there. Faster, faster! Brom said if we can make, the, make it to the bridge, we'll be safe. As they race over the bridge, Ichabod turns around. He expects the headless horseman to disappear. Instead, he sees the horseman raise an arm and throw its fiery head at him. Ah! Scene eight. Months later, villagers still talk about Ichabod Crane. The next morning, Ichabod's horse came home, but Ichabod did not. And his body was never found. His hat was found near the old church bridge. A smashed pumpkin lay next to it. Brom Bones chuckles. Poor Ichabod, I think he died of fright. I heard he just got scared and ran out of town. What do you think, Brom? <laughs> I think the headless horseman took care of him. Me? I don't know what to believe. But soon after Ichabod disappeared, Brom and Katrina got married. Brom winks at the audience. If Brom Bones knows more than what really happened, he sure isn't telling. Ooh, so they left it up to our own imaginations. We have to make an inference. What do we think happened? Did the Headless Horseman really get Ichabod Crane? Did Brom Bones dress up as him and scare him off and he just left town? That's up to you to decide. I'll see you in the next video.